oftentimes I feel like when you're at maybe the big box store seeing the TV, they're paying some, you know, 8K video. So it's showing off the gorgeous picture quality. Then you get it home and hook it to one of these streaming devices and it's nowhere near what you saw in that store. So this is why I was so excited about you know, bringing Kaleidoscape on and talking about it because now just the awareness of my audience and the awareness that's available has people go out and, and take a look and then do their own homework. And you'll find out it's there's no comparison of anything on the market. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, we're definitely less expensive than a Ferrari. <laughs> Welcome to another Hive podcast where we have everything we talk about from innovation to technology, residentially and commercially. Today we have a special guest, Adam from Kaleidoscape. Thanks, Jeff. How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm really, really glad to be here. Thank you. So glad to have you. Thanks for being here. Uh, for those in my audience that don't know anything about Kaleidoscape, we'll jump right in. What is Kaleidoscape and uh, how does it enhance the entertainment experience in your home or your business? Yeah, sure. So Kaleidoscape is the ultimate movie platform that elevates every other component within the system. So you're getting the best performance you possibly can and the best experience you possibly can in your entertainment space. Awesome. I got a question. Yeah. I get this one from several of my clients in the past, whether we're doing a full-blown movie theater or just a really high-end surround sound system in their living room. I get the question, Jeff, why would I spend the money on Kaleidoscape versus the other streaming services, the other streaming boxes, such as the Roku's, the Apple TVs of the world? You know, what is the difference? And, you know, obviously there's a price difference. So what justifies that price difference? Sure. So Kaleidoscape doesn't do any streaming at all. All of the other services, the Roku, Apple TV, you mentioned a few earlier, uh, they are dependent on the internet connection and the bandwidth within. Okay, Kaleidoscape is not. What happens is a customer purchases the hardware, which is a server and players, and then they go ahead and they buy or rent all of their content through the Kaleidoscape store. But what they're getting is the actual mezzanine file that the studios send to the movie theaters. Okay, wow. but it's the full mezzanine file is downloaded to the hard drive, so it's local. So you never have to worry and you're never dependent upon the internet speed. You're never dependent on how much traffic in your neighborhood or how much bandwidth is being used by, by your neighbors as well. So um, I'm gonna give you a few numbers on what the difference is. With streaming, you're typically going to get about 6 to 12 frames per second on the video, and you're going to get completely crushed audio. Because the streamers have to do all they can to try to get some semblance of a 4K image up on the screen, and they really kind of ignore the audio. But with Kaleidoscape, you're going to get 60 frames per second on a video, so 10 times the bitrate on the video, and you're going to get completely lossless audio. So you hear every note and every detail that the director intended the customer to hear, the client to hear, okay, or the so audience to hear. I'm going to dummy it down for my audience because okay. sometimes I get the question. So yeah. the reality is when you're streaming, you're depending on the internet connection. Yes. With you guys, because you actually download the movie and it sits locally, you can have much superior picture quality and audio quality. Is that correct? That is very correct. Okay. Yes. So. You know, a lot of times the customers, they don't really consider the source. They consider the display, they consider the speakers, they consider the furniture. And they just figure, well, as long as I can see and hear something, everything's working great. The issue is when they're investing a lot of money in their entertainment space, uh, it's really very important to get the most out of your investment and more importantly, the best performance you possibly can out of those other components. So when you have lossless audio and you have 60 frames per second on the video, that projector is going to look the best it can. Those speakers are going to sound the best they can. You're going to hear nuances and, and, and sounds and, and things that you just cannot hear when you're using a streaming device. So don't get me wrong. You have to have streaming devices. Everybody has streaming devices. I have streaming devices. Um, but when it comes to really watching a movie, 
and enjoying that movie theater experience, there's literally nothing that comes close or that can compete with Kaleidoscope. That's awesome. And you know, I have a little plug for you because I have a client and he's a very particular client. Great guy. We're actually in the process of building a very high-end movie theater for him right now. He made the purchase. I actually delivered a demo Kaleidoscape because I was trying to sell him on the Kaleidoscape. Mm -hmm. And he was not, he was like, eh, you know, maybe. But he's spending a ton of money on the theater, spending a ton of money on the projector. I, I don't even want to tell you the number on the room and an interior designer. I literally took him the demo for him to test drive for a couple weeks, right? He hooks it up in his current home. He's building actually a, renovating a gorgeous brand new house and adding a theater to it, but he's still residing in his current home. I literally take it to his house. He hooks it up to a sound bar and an LG flat panel TV. Okay. Calls me back within two hours. Absolutely added to my system. I cannot believe the difference in picture and sound quality on a TV and a sound bar. I was actually blown away by it. I was like, wow, I thought, you know, you would enjoy the content or see how easy it was to navigate the system. And he could tell a major difference with a sound bar and a, and a TV. No less when we get to this, you know, massive theater we're doing for him. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, that's exactly right. No matter what you're using, when you have lossless audio, and then of course you have the best possible video quality, it will enhance, or at least again, get the performance out of every component, no matter what that is. Whether what, it be a what TV. What does the term lossless audio mean? I just, just to clarify for the audience. So it's bit for bit, kind of like the video, right? We have 60 frames per second. The file is bit for bit on the video, and it's bit for bit it's on the audio as well. So there is no compression. Okay. When I say lossless, there's no compression. So the, things get literally lost when you're compressing video to then stream it over the internet and then it has to uncompress it, is that right? That is exactly correct. And yes. is that why a lot of times clients, and again, I'm in the world of technology, but a lot of times I don't like to throw around technology terms because I don't understand them and no less a lot of my audience doesn't. They probably know okay. more than me. But when you're uncompressing it, is that why a lot of times I see that TV with that little buffering and swirling because it's well, we call it the uh, spinning wheel of death. That's what we call it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, because there's nothing worse than when you're trying to enjoy and you're in, and you're you're in your your beautiful room, and all of a sudden the show stops, right? Uh, but no, that actually is the buffering because the data that's transferring over the internet is not transferring fast enough. It cannot decode it. It cannot um, uh, display it fast enough. So. That, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold that's on, exactly, I'm catching up. Exactly, okay. it's buffering, right. basically. It's getting that bit of information, and then when it's able to display it, it will display it. Sometimes there's too much information coming over, we call it the pipe or the internet pipe, and then it just cannot display it. It's so this is the advantage of downloading that whole file, Correct. so you're not depending on that internet connection, and then it's completely uncompressed, so i.e. the term lossless means you're not losing any audio or video content. You're getting exactly what was intended by the movie and who produced it. Correct? That's exactly correct. Awesome. One hundred percent. Awesome. Yes, and so it's wonderful. For so so the client will decide what size server they're going to need. Are they a collector? Are they going to just rent? Uh, you know what? How much storage are they going to need for their collection? And what size storages do they come in? in Put it in relative terms, like if I have a collection of 100 movies, 500, what, what are those breakpoints? Sure. Well, we start at an 8 terabyte. Okay. okay. So we have an 8 terabyte server, and that'll hold roughly about 140 4K HDR movies. Okay. Okay. We go up to currently a 96 terabyte, wow. which will hold roughly 18, 17 and 1800 4K HDR movies. Now, that's just 4K movies, right. which obviously much Bigger larger. Files. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so if you have mixed resolution, like you know, 1080 or even standard def uh, movies, uh, obviously it's, the number goes up exponentially. Okay. But just say 4K, okay. uh, we'll say about uh, you know, 140 per 8 terabytes of storage. And then they will decide how many independent pulls or how many independent playback zones do I want in my system. So obviously they'll dedicate a player for the theater 
maybe they maybe your customers watch a lot of TV in their bedroom or a den or even an outdoor space if you're in beautiful sunny Florida. Yeah. Um, so uh, then they would just that's what they they would buy a player for that particular zone. Okay. So all the players <coughs> can play off one server. So that's correct. Host that plays the different players. That's correct. So so we 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 start with a an eight terabyte. We call it a compact Terra server. It is a small half rack device. The players are smaller half rack devices, so it's very nice. They sit side by side in one RU of rack space, and they look very nice in the rack. But we, you don't necessarily need a rack. I want to clarify that. So I no, definitely don't need a whole home rack system. I could, as we have it here at this home, we literally have. The server in here and the player excuse me and the server and distributing it right to one single tv so mm -hmm. we don't need to have multiple zones and i don't have to have a big equipment rack to do this correct that is correct you do right. not need a whole big rack full of gear with the cloud escape to operate and yeah. yes many many uh installations will be just that right okay. they'll have a, a larger television they'll have a nice surround system or a nice audio system and then I'll just put the components in some kind of a cabinet. So yeah, you don't okay. absolutely have to have this in a large, huge rack system. Right. Um, so, uh, so after they decide, okay, I'm not a collector. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to get maybe a smaller server, and I think I'm going to want it in two or three zones, so then they'll buy the players. And then once they decide that, they will then purchase or rent all of their content in the Kaleidoscape store. All right. Got it. In the store, we have around 15,000 titles. Wow. Of those titles, we're getting close to about 2,000 4K titles, which is the largest 4K collection out of any service anywhere. Okay. okay. Um, and then they will, they will buy our rent uh, as needed. Uh, uh, the movies, they range roughly between $10 to $35 per movie, so pretty much in line with, with other content. Mm -hmm. uh, the rental price is $8 per movie. Uh, of the 15,000 titles, 9,000 are available for rental. So not wow. every title is available for rental, but we do have a lot of clients who say, listen, I, I, I'll watch a, a title or a movie once. I don't think I'll ever watch it again. I don't really need to buy it. So that's great for a smaller size server, uh, and that will be just fine. Mm -hmm. Now, after they rent the movie, it's, they will have 30 days to start the playback. Once they start the playback, they'll have 48 hours to watch the movie. Now, if well, that's they, nice to the guy that falls asleep on the couch. <laughs> I can watch it tomorrow. Yeah, okay, listen, but, I'm guilty here <laughs> too. Guilty as shirt. Uh, but yeah, so and then if they do really, if they love the movie and they want to purchase it, we will give them four dollars of the eight dollar rental price towards the purchase of the movie. Oh, so we right. give them a little, a little Incentive break. Incentive to buy it or break. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So let me ask you this: What happens if I have a collection of? DVDs, 4K, Blu-rays, and I own currently 150 movies of my own, and I want to buy this Kaleidoscape. Is there a way that I can now take that and put the movies I already own onto this cool server that you see behind us maps everything out really coolly and displays it? Is there a way I can do that, or what does you, that look like? Oh, of course, there definitely is. And that is typically, uh, um, I would say, when the customer says, well, I already have this big collection and now I'm going to start over. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't have to start over per se, as you mentioned. We have what's called digital offers okay. and a disk to digital program. Okay. And how that works is you buy a little $30 optical disk drive. We have vetted a few that are on, we list them on our website. You can buy them at Amazon for like $30, $35. Okay. You will plug that player or that disk drive into the USB port of the Strato C player, okay. okay? It will automatically kick that player into what's called catalog mode, and the front logo of the, of the player will flash, so you know you're good to go. The customer or the integrator as a service will put the disc in one at a time. It will read the label in roughly three to five seconds. And it'll take that title and it'll put it into a section in the Kaleidoscape store called Digital Offers. The customer will then be able to purchase that media through the store at a discounted rate. Okay. Now, just like when someone's buying new, when they're buying a discounted product, all of the pricing is dictated by the studios. Okay, okay. so uh, we don't we don't set the pricing levels. The studios okay. set the pricing levels. Um, but some studios will give a 90% discount on a title, and some will give a 10% discount. Okay. 
Okay. So I would say on average, if a customer of yours has a 100 or 200 or 300 disc collection that they want to convert to digital, yeah. uh, it'll, they'll receive roughly around a 40 to 50% discount off the retail price uh, on that collection okay. to purchase it digitally. Now, again, they are purchasing the best possible file that you can get in the world. And when I say that, I, I really mean it. There's really three options right now. You have streaming, you have uh, disc, right? Physical yeah. media, yeah. okay, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have Kaleidoscape, mm -hmm. full digital media with losses. Okay. Now, um, clearly, physical media is going away. Correct. So pretty soon, I think we're going to be left with the worst, which is streaming, as far as quality picture and picture quality and then the best which is kaleidoscape so it's not a bad thing for us or our clients or certainly our integrators yeah. but but uh it is going away uh the physical media and so um just to give you an example also on the quality uh, and to quantify my statement that you're getting the best possible content you can get in the world yeah. on a 4k blu-ray disc uh, it, it'll hold about 66 gigabit of information which used to be plenty. But these files nowadays from the studios are coming in at 80, 100, 120 gig. So even on a 4K Blu-ray disc, you have compression. You are not getting the full data file that Kaleidoscape is offering. Mm. Right? So, uh, is that why sometimes you actually have two separate discs inside of a movie? Is that, that is. Sometimes you'll have two separate discs. You'll have discs that maybe a second disc might be director's cuts or, sure. or you know, interviews, that kind of stuff. But yeah, sometimes if the file is just too big, Separated they'll, they'll the have disc. to separate the disc. Okay. Exactly. So uh, this way, uh, the disc and the physical media, I mean, you know what happens, right? You go to put the disc in, it's scratched, it's skipping, it's, it's just not a very good experience. Right. And that's really, again, what Kaleidoscape is all about. Giving the customer the best possible experience for their investment in their entertainment. Wow. However, let me just go back to the, yeah. to the disc. So 66 gig of information, right. 120 gig file, now you have major compression even on the 4K Blu-ray disc, where Kaleidoscape, you're going to have that full 120 gig file. That's so cool. that's why I can quantify, I can say, we are the best possible content, played on the best possible source that you can get. You know, so many of our audience know about the Apple TV, the Roku, the, you know, the Amazon Fire Sticks and things of this nature. And this is why I was so excited about this today was you know, so many of our audience don't know about Kaleidoscape. And when you do a comparison, they're really, when somebody educates themselves on this, there becomes no comparison. Yeah. And I had to educate myself on it. Um, originally, when I saw Kaleidoscape for the first time, again, I think initially we look at the price tag and go, wow, you know, that's expensive. But then you start looking at the quality and the value and how it enhances your entire system. And it becomes actually one of the least expensive pieces because it's like I bought a Ferrari and I'm putting the cheapest fuel in it being the source of video. And I think clients aren't even aware of that. And, you know, whether they've just purchased a very expensive TV for their living room. And I think everything's relative, you know, to, to me spending three or four or $5,000 on a television is very expensive, but then hooking it up to a $69 source. That's now all my video. Well, you're not even getting, yeah. the quality of that display yeah. and oftentimes i feel like when you're at maybe the big box stores seeing the tv they're paying some you know 8k video so it's showing off the gorgeous picture quality then you get it home and hook it to one of these streaming devices and it's nowhere near what you saw in that store so this is why i was so excited about you know bringing kaleidoscape on and talking about it because now just the awareness of my audience and the awareness that's available has people go out and, and take a look and then do their own homework. And you'll find out it's there's no comparison of anything on the market. Yeah, absolutely. Well, first of all, we're definitely less expensive than a Ferrari. So that's, <laughs> that's, so that's, so that's a good thing. Uh, no, but really, um, we do uh, a lot of marketing the best mm -hmm. we can uh, in, in the particular areas that I th we think will obviously benefit and generate name recognition. But honestly, most of our business and most of our 
our clients come from referrals. Mm. So that's exactly what happens. People go over to their friend's house or their acquaintances or their family members and they see it and they see this really cool GUI on the screen and say, what the heck is that? And then the customer or the owner is typically very excited to tell them about Kaleidoscape because Kaleidoscape really is quickly becomes one of their favorite devices or items uh, within their system. And then next thing you know, you're getting a call from Mr. Smith's neighbor or friend or family member. He saw it. He absolutely wants a Kaleidoscape. So right now, a lot of our, our, our new sales comes from referral referrals from current Kaleidoscape owners. Yeah. We have been around for 20 years. Uh, we have probably roughly 25,000 of our older premier version systems, which were 1080p. And I don't know what the number is now of the new Terra systems, but it's, it's growing exponentially and we're very excited about that. Yeah. Um, you're absolutely right. The source is extremely important. You cannot buy a Ferrari that has a governor on it. It doesn't yeah. make any sense. And um, we, I think Kaleidoscape was known initially as a really very, very expensive uh, proposition. Mm -hmm. uh, and this was before the days of streaming, right? right? So there really weren't that many choices. Um, but now they have so many choices of content and content distribution and content and, and, and companies and different things that sometimes it can get lost. But the fact is, the best is always going to be the best. Yeah. And Kaleidoscape is the best. And when they seek out the best or they're informed about the best, mm -hmm. typically clients who are going to invest in that kind of a space or that kind of a system, they definitely want the best. But again, source is the most important. Mm -hmm. There's an old saying in our business, it's called garbage in, garbage out. And I don't yeah. really typically like to say that, but yeah. as it is what it is. If you're putting a bad, bad information or not the full information into something, you're not going to get the best or full information out. Kaleidoscape is the best and the fullest. And that's why it looks and sounds as it does. Well, I'm also going to point out, don't not only is this just movies, we've had some incredible concerts that I've seen on Kaleidoscape recently. And I actually, on my own system, downloaded a couple of the concerts. And um, they had one with Eric Clapton. They had another one that Bohemian Rhapsody was actually that movie in the video but yeah um the the audio content for the for the concerts is unbelievable you feel like you're in the front row it is really quite amazing uh i love the concerts mm. i buy a lot of concerts myself and eric clapton of course i have about three or four eric clapton <laughs> concerts but uh it's really like being at the concert mm. i'll just give you a little anecdotal story my wife really loves chardet mm. so we have a chardet concert on, in the store we purchased that uh, we we watch it I think once a month at least because she just she just loves it, but it really it, you really feel like you are at the concert, without all the negative aspects of being at a concert <laughs> in the comfort of your own home. But it I mean where else are you gonna? It was 2014 or whatever the year yeah. is. I missed the show. Yeah. Well now you don't. You have it. You own it, and it's just amazing. So yes, concerts, television shows, and movies. So it's not just movies. You don't have to be just a movie lover. We have television content from several studios. We have a wonderful thing called Season Pass. Now, I'm a big Yellowstone fan. Okay. So uh, uh, we have, you can download the full season of Yellowstone. Now, that particular show has an incredible audio and, of course, the visuals are spectacular, mm -hmm. right? But I love the soundtracks on that show. And so... Watching that on the TNT streaming like I used to do was not as, certainly not as good as watching the full mezzanine file come, being downloaded from the, uh, to the Kaleidoscape. I mean, it is amazing, the visuals and the audio clips. Yeah. We have something for everybody, Jeff, yeah. right? It's not just movies. You don't have to be a movie lover. You don't have to be a collector. Yeah. And you don't have to be... You know, a, a gazillion air to afford a Kaleidoscape. And we start at $9,000 on a retail. That is for an 8-terabyte server and a player. And okay. so that's when you consider the sometimes the receiver is $9,000 or the speaker is $25,000 a yeah. pair. You know, so if you want to get the best, again, no matter what you're spending, if you want to get the best possible performance, you have to give it the best possible source 
with the best content. Otherwise, you. you're just not getting what you're paying for. Well, thanks so much for being with me today, because very honestly, every time I love to learn more, um, the reality is I didn't know they did all the TV shows as well. So that's cool to find out. So excellent. Not only movies, TV shows and concerts. That's pretty cool with the best quality content. So yeah. again, Adam, thanks so much for being with me today. Um, for our audience, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, and again, uh, their website is www.kaleidoscape.com. And uh, again, thanks so much for being here and thanks so much for listening. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.